Hey guys, it's Adrian Insigne and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and get more facts about my med school life and also some facts about uh, medicine. So ang pag-uusapan natin today is about vaccines. Since hot na hot ang topic ngayon about sa vaccines kasi may mga parating at mga kakarating lang na vaccine dito sa Philippines. So first, explain ko muna sa inyo ano yung mga different types ng vaccine. So there are four types of vaccine. The first one is the whole virus. May dalawang subtype siya. Number one is the inactivated. Number two is the live attenuated. And common example ng vaccine na uh, inactivated, ang sikat na sikat ngayon, is yung Sinovac and also Sinopharm. So the second type is the protein-based. Protein-based, ang common na uh, usual na, na vaccine na narinig natin dito is yung Hepatitis B vaccine. A third type is the viral vector. Ang sikat dito ang viral vector na narinig natin recently lang dumating sa Philippines is the AstraZeneca. And the last type is the nucleic acid. So, ito yung RNA and DNA. So, ang sikat na sikat na sa USA, uh, Pfizer. Pfizer vaccine for COVID. Yan. Yun yung apat. Let's start muna sa whole virus. Sabi ko kanina, di ba? Uh, may dalawang subtype, inactivated and live attenuated. So, first, start natin sa live attenuated. Ang live attenuated is yung uh, weekend, yung laman ng vaccine na yun is weekend, weekend na virus. So, pwede siya mag-replicate, but hindi siya mag ng illness. It will also trigger your immune system. So, ayan. So, yun yung live, uh, live attenuated. Dito naman tayo sa inactivated vaccine. Ang sikat na sikat, Sinovac, di ba? Sinovac, uh, and also Sinopharm. Ang inactivated naman is yung genetic material ng vac ng virus ay nasira na so hindi na niya kaya mag-replicate but it will also trigger your immune system so ayun so the second type ng virus is the protein based so ang example ng protein based is the Novavax vaccine so ang ginagawa naman dito sa vac- vaccine na to is uh meron lang of fragments or par- parts ng ng vax uh, ng virus dito sa loob ng vaccine na to so nakaka-trigger siya ng immune system so helpful din siya but it often requires another uh, another booster which is yun nga di ba hepatitis B may kailangan tayo may first vac- may first shot then may kailangan tayong booster na series of hepatitis B vaccine so ang downside lang nito is hindi siya ganoon ka-effective if exposed ka na dun sa virus so, kailangan uh, hindi ka pa na-expose sa virus. Yun yung summary. Yun, yun, yung, uh, yun yung overall na ginagawa ng protein vaccine. Ang third type is the viral vector. Medyo mahirap siya explain eh. But, ang common dito is yung sikat na sikat na you should, sikat na sikat din like the Sinovac, kakarating lang din is the AstraZeneca. Uh, meron din sa US uh, Johnson & Johnson. Ang binibigay ang ginagawa lang ng itong vaccine na, to, na viral vector is uh sinasabihan niya yung cells natin to produce antigen. Ang antigen basically it is a protein sa virus na nag nagte-trigger ng nagte-trigger sa immune system natin to produce the antibody. Yung antibody yung lumala, yun yung fighter ng immune system natin, yun yung lumalabas sa mga virus, di ba? Yung mga uh, ano, ganun. Basta yun, basta yun yung lumalaban sa, sa, sa immune system natin. Sabihin yun yung soldier, mga ganun, example lang ganun. So the last one, the last type is the nucleic acid. Ang mga example dito sa nucleic acid na to, yung uh, Pfizer and, and Moderna. So basically same lang siya sa viral vector na uh, pinap, parang inuutos niya yung cell niyo para magproduce ng antigen. Tapos eventually makakagawa ng antibody, which is magiging immune ka dun sa virus. 
So, ang downside nito is kailangan sobrang lamig. Kailangan niya ultra storage. Meron na ba kayo naririnig sa news na ano? Yung Pfizer na to, parang nag-ready sila sa Pfizer na mga cold storage, di ba? Kasi, once na more than 90 seconds ang nasa syringe ang, ang vaccine na to, may possibility na maging ineffective siya. May possibility ineffective or malisira yung vaccine. So, yun yung downside na to sa uh, sa nucleic acid etong type ng vaccine na to. Uh, ito yung so yun ito yung four types ng mRNA ko, four types ng vaccine. Ah, uh, sinamaris ko in a in my knowledge as a medical student. Ito yung naintindihan ko after basahin yung mga uh, papers about it sa mga vaccine. So recently, uh, I've been doing some live like like uh, study with me sa Facebook. Uh, it's a way na maging, produc- maging productive kami. Like, ako maging productive magawa yung mga tasks ko. And also, maging productive rin yung viewers ko. Magawa rin yung tasks nila. Uh, like, schoolwork or yung mga, uh, yung work nila. So, yun. So, every after session na to, nag- nakikipag-interact ako sa nila. Like, uh, Q&A. So, may mga common question kasi regarding sa vaccine. So, first, kasi tinanong tinatanong nila usually is, uh, what do I prefer? So, what do I prefer na brand ng vaccine? Siyempre, for me, uh, siyempre, isipin ko na gusto ko yung best for me. So, the best means the highest efficacy rate. So, yun. And yung effectivity, di ba? And also, if ano ang available. But, siyempre, we, ho- we always hope na yung available is the best. Another question na usually tinatanong sa sa comment section is um, would you get vaccinated regardless sa brand? Uh, for me kasi I would take it. Kasi ito yung tatlong reason ko. Uh, first, when it comes to that, uh, lagi ko iniisip is the benefit outweighs the risk. The second one is Having little protection is better than having no protection at all. And the last one is the ito laging sinasabi sa class sa class namin in medicine. It's better to prevent than to cure. Ito applicable applicable to lahat sa sa, sa lahat ng diseases sa lahat sa when it comes to medicine. Developing immunity through vaccination will reduce the risk of getting the illness and also its complication. Because if ako, I get, I'll get, i be protected from getting the illness, it is less likely na mas spread ko sa iba. Especially my loved ones or example your lo- and also your loved ones. Kasi some of our loved ones, mayroon mga comorbidity like mga diabetic, uh, uh, sakit sa baga, sakit sa puso, kasi ang dami yan. Or also old age, di ba? So always think na pag naprotektahan ka, maprotektahan din yung mga minamahal natin sa buhay. Another question na tinatanong sa akin is, what would you advise others so far in preventing COVID and with the use of vaccine? So, getting vaccinated and also encouraging people to get vaccinated are the key steps from stopping or ending this pandemic. And also, reverting back to our normal lives. So always, uh, remind ko lang sa inyo, is we must follow the protocol, uh, quarantine protocols, and also iwasan natin yung mga non-essential lakad. In medicine kasi, we have a term called herd immunity. So itong herd immunity na to is when people from a community na are, uh, are already protected, because it's either na exposed na sila sa vaccine or uh, na vaccinated na sila. So, nakaka din dito, uh, protected din dito eventually yung mga hindi kaya, hindi pwedeng bakunan kasi hindi pasok sa protocols. Like yung mga newborn, pregnant, or yung mga old age, etc. Yung mga, basta hindi pasok sa protocols, maraprotectan din sila if majority ng people sa community or majority ng population sa community ay uh, protected na or immune na dito sa disease na to. So, in addition to this, not only it avoids from spreading, uh, it also avoids from 
uh, mutation like yung mga nareunig natin ng mga variants like UK variant, African variant, yung mga ganong mutation, ma-avoid natin yun. Another question na, uh, na tinatanong ng mga viewers ko is yung about sa mga side effects. Um, usually kasi ang vaccine kasi talaga may mga usual na side effects like yung mga pain sa pain or uh, pain, redness, swelling sa site of injection kung saan ka na na-injection ng vaccine. Ito usual to. Usually ginagawa dito lang, nilalagyan ng ice lang. Then also yung mga systemic uh, ibang effect like yung nagaka fever uh uh and pano ko sabihin bumibigat yung katawan yun tapos headache uh, yun parang loss of appetite yun yung usual diba uh, I'm not sure if na experience to because some kasi ng mga ibang tao kasi some people uh when they get vaccinated like yung tetanus vaccine diba nilalag na sila so eto yung mga usual side effects lang ng mga vaccines kasi unless uh, allergic ka dun sa vaccine na yun. so so guys this is the end of the video uh, papa remind ko lang sa inyo always follow safety protocols vaccinated or not kasi hindi pa natin alam yung lasting effect ng ng vaccine so remind reminder lang uh, always wear face mask with baliktad <laughs> tama ba so always wear face mask so kailangan pinch the nose hanggang sa chin and cover it face mask then avoid crowded places uh, avoid uh, poor ventilated places and also hand wash and also drink alcohol and <laughs> lala <laughs> nakakatuwa lang basta always bring alcohol yun so guys ipaparamind ko lang sa inyo na sinasabi lagi sa amin that it's always better to prevent than to cure. And ulitin ko ulit, it's always better to prevent than to cure. Okay? Kasi applicable siya sa lahat ng diseases. Sa lahat talaga. Promise talaga. So, ayun, guys. I hope na may natutunan kayo sa video na to. And if nagustuhan niyo yung video na to, thumbs up naman. And also, if uh, may question kayo or may insight kayo, comment down below. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe na. Para, uh, para maging updated kayo sa mga next videos ko about so, so that, parang ganito, yun. So, thank you for watching!